Hi, this is Lindsay Knoll from Light Gray Art Lab, and I want to spend a tiny bit of time showing you the new Battle for Victor Knoll uh, artist deck and card game. We're really excited to unveil this for you so you get to see a little bit about what's inside, all the contents, and everything that went into the game. Um, here, uh, just turning it around for you guys, you can see the box. Um, this is what you'll receive if you are um, receiving the game. You have a D20. We actually have all sorts of different colors of D20s, each one uh, a little bit different. We have some clear ones and some um, great kind of solid ones as well. Um, but it's a mystery of uh, what you'll get. Uh, also, we'll have the 100-card uh, deck with a 100-page guidebook. Um, on the backhand side, you'll also see that they're signed and numbered um, with some information about the game here, a little bit about the background of the story behind the game, how we made it, and um, what you can expect on the inside. So um, the box itself is a, um, a flex board box, and really quick, you can open from the top. On the inside, you'll see a um, bunch of cards and our book. I'll just open this for you guys. So here... Here again, we have um, the box, and I'll set that here for a second. Um, then, on the inside, you'll have the 100-page guidebook, uh, which is a really amazing book that we've done. It has everything from the lore to the characters behind it. I'll slowly page through it, so here we have the cover. Um, and as you go through the book... We talk about how the project was created, about this project um, information, a little bit behind like the RPG and fantasy universe. You'll see here is the realm of Victornal, so you can experience the, the whole world, which ties back into our, our characters and um, all the different realms. Here we have examples, too, of each of the lands. Information about the artists, of course, are down below, and you get to see exactly what's involved and kind of who's involved here. And as I page through it too, you can also see each one of the sections of the book starts off by talking about um, which piece of the game and which piece of the exhibition is included. And then we go into each character. So here we have the clerics type. Um, each one kind of starts off, tells you a little bit about what clerics are, and then we go into each of the card decks. So each one of the artists, as you can see here, there's a small image on the left-hand side, that has a black and white version of the card art, and then also the name, the subtitle, and then the background of each character that was written by the artist. Um, underneath, along this black, we have uh, the class, the alignment, and then all of the statistics. So each artist was given 100 points to sort of distribute between strength, uh, strength dexterity, charisma, wisdom, intelligence, and constitution. And you can see, uh, as we page through here, also on the bottom, underneath each one, just so that you're able to see where people are from. Um, it's been really cool to have everybody from around the world participate. So their location, who they are, and of course, a way to get a hold of them and tell them um, if you like what they're doing. So um, these two, as we kind of go, you'll see everybody has one. I'll go on the Rangers side, you know. Uh, each class has 13 uh, and we also have, as you can see in some of these, you'll see the M symbol. Some of the participants have, for example, a ranger who fits into a mercenary class. Um, more information about that we'll tell you guys in the gameplay video that we'll do. But most uh, exciting about this is just to see what artists are in which categories, kind of learn a little bit about them, and also about the characters that they love and that they've created. So, again... Uh, the book, probably of the first uh, 60 pages or so, are dedicated to each of the artists and um, the people involved. You can see all of that stuff. So, again, it's worth taking a look through and reading some of these. They've got really fun stories. And um, as we get near the middle section, um, after all of the different parts here, of course, we have warriors, we have clerics, we have mages, uh, rogues, rangers, and paladins. Then you come to the section here where we talk about the game. So this is a full uh, 30 pages or so of gameplay. Uh, as you can see, you can talk. Uh, you, we talk a little bit about what the Battle for Victor and All card game is, what you fight for, and what is involved in going through this. Um, layouts of exactly how you can 
you can set up your game, what the game contents are, um, and also some more information, too, about each of the specific elements on the cards themselves and all of the class icons, hero cards, and card overviews. So make sure to take a look through this. You can see, again, um, thorough descriptions of everything, including the kingdom cards, how to use those, how to keep score, and, of course, how to battle, which is the most important part here. So, again, uh, the project itself is both an artist deck where it's really a celebration of the people and the heroes behind the work, but also a, a playable card game. So if you do want to go questing and uh, fight some battles with your, your allies uh, against your foes, you have many chances to do so. So, again, uh, the book's a lot of fun. Take a look through that. And, of course, how to win the game, resolving ties and and all that stuff too and, and there and there we are in the back some information so if you'd like to get in contact with us um, you can read about the things that we've done and the things that we do so um, this book of course accompanies the cards which are um, also each card for example has the same information that you see in the booklet again um, all the symbols for how to play the game up at the top and then a lot of information here too about each individual character and of course at the bottom the artist's name so you can find them and contact them as well. So um, I'll just slowly page through some of the artwork that's involved here. Just absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous stuff. Um, uh, just <laughs> it's been really fun seeing this thing come together. Lots of different art styles, amazing characters behind everything. And of course, all of these are based off of the artists and individuals that have uh, participated in the show. So again, um, we're looking at all of the clerics uh, first, or excuse me, all of the mages first. And of course, as we go, you can see the rogues right here. Each one, beautiful artwork. All the artwork too, if you want to see more, if you want to see the stuff uh, full size, you can take a look online. And every single one is there too. Um, information about who's involved um, who they are, and also, you know, uh, all the full artwork, too, is there. So, um, one thing that's exciting about the game, too, is as you receive it, of course, all of these, because it is a limited edition, you can kind of get, uh, you know, be the first people to get the, the lowest numbers in the edition. So if you have magical numbers, hopefully that shows up for you. But, um, again, you know, all of these, too, are built so that each category you can kind of lay out and see exactly who is in what class um, and make any relationships that that you'd like to make between these guys but again one of my favorite things to and here you are in the warriors um, one of my favorite things to do was to see who was in my class I was able to participate in this as well as some of the other like great people and see who exactly was a paladin like me um, and that was a lot of fun. So again, sort of a game to see the social side beside or behind everything. But um, you know, beautiful artwork, really great stuff, um, and also the game again is just a lot of fun. So as you kind of look through that, one thing I haven't uh, showed you yet is on the back side here. Um, all of the cards, of course, are backed by um, this drawing as well so that's kind of the reverse side so as you play the game of course you can kind of keep your uh, cards stealthy so that all of the stuff is hidden from your enemies but again here you go um, just a little bit more and we're into the here are the rangers of course and here's the paladins category And a lot of diversity, a lot of really nice, fun stuff. Tons of action poses, tons of amazing characters. Um, and, of course, I always like the stories that come behind these guys, too. So, um, again, it's a great cross-reference. If you're just looking at this for fun, if you're trying to get to know the artist behind the deck, or if you're just looking at it for kind of the epicness of the world, um, it's really amazing to kind of see what's involved here. And, again, here are the clerics, um, 1 through 13. You can kind of see fanciful, really beautiful work that everybody's done in contribution to this. So um, if you get a chance, um, the decks themselves are available on our shop. If you go to lightgrayartlab.com and you click on the buy art 
category. It'll send you over to the shop where you can see this, and we'll have some more images of, of the cards as well. Um, and then right here, kind of near the end of the deck, we have the four land cards. These are used um, not only to signify each of the realms of Victurnal, uh, but you can also keep score with these. Beautiful artwork by these guys, just absolutely wonderful and atmospheric. And again, of course, artist names here are on the side, so you can say hi to those guys. Um, this one's my favorite. So, I just like all icy things. So, and again, the mercenaries here. So, um, these guys, again, uh, you can see their, their class and their alignment, as well as their statistics and some of the great names and personalities behind everything, too. So, again, there are 99 cards um, with artwork included on the deck, so 99 people were involved um, with this. In addition to, um, you know, 95 of those being hero cards, like this, and then the four land cards as well. And then right at the end of the deck, we have... Uh, a handy card. This is great for the gameplay. Um, it's got all the battle formation, so this is how uh, you can have an easy easy thing to look at while you're playing the game to tell you who's winning, how you can tell who's beating who. And then, of course, on the back, um, this again has to do with the gameplay as well. So a uh, quick reference guide for the mercenary abilities, uh, which are some of these last cards that were in the deck. So uh, really excited about this project. You can see you know, everything that we've got here. Um, is, core, is kind of all included. And then finally, again, what you will receive if you get this in the mail, of course, is, um, you know, uh, D20, different colors, different kinds. We'll pick a good one for you. And then, of course, it comes shrink-wrapped, so it's nice as a gift um, as well. So uh, thanks for watching, and we hope you love it.